have a monthly column in Red Book Magazine and a Red Book reader sent in this question. I am pre-diabetic. No matter what type of cereal I have for breakfast, I get a low blood sugar crash around 2 p.m. I love eating cereal and I don't want to make eggs. What can I do? And that's from Sandra in Fort River, New Jersey. We asked Dr. Francine Kaufman, she's the leading pediatric endocrinologist from Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, to stick around to help with this very question because I guarantee you there are other people out there with this very same issue. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. me. I used to crash all the time. Well, define crash for me. I mean, well, the first thing yeah. I tell you to do is get a glucose meter and find out what's really happening to mm -hmm. your blood sugar. I mean, are you just having the normal slight dip? or you're actually getting hypoglycemic. So with exactly. a meter, you can figure that out. Mm -hmm. And I think just about whatever you have for breakfast, if you're waiting till 2 p.m. to eat yeah, again, yeah. you know, it's you're bad. gonna be getting pretty hungry. Right. But there are good things that you can eat at breakfast, maybe in addition to or in place of cereal, right? To help prevent that crash? Well, the first thing is how much cereal. So portion control really comes into play on everything we eat. And then we have all kinds of things here to show you that you could have something with protein would really help and a moderate amount of very complex carbohydrate. Um, yogurt and fruit would be another way. You've got protein in there, you've got some fat, which causes the absorption to be a little slower. You don't get a peak and then kind of a valley that's going to follow that. This, on the other hand, I don't consider this food anymore at all. This is medicine. This is something that people with diabetes should use to recover from a low blood sugar and we should have juice in moderation, maybe four ounces at the most a day with a meal and uh, otherwise that will shoot your blood sugar and that's up. really that's true for, kids, for virtually especially. anyone mm -hmm. any kid yeah. even if they're they're not a diabetic but you've got some fun bars up here and there are other bars that that will have these you know low easily absorbed blood sugars so what what makes these a maybe a good option for someone so after you know taking care of so many children and families with uh, struggling to manage diabetes, I decided that we needed to find a low glycemic index, good nutrients, um, a lot of protein, a little bit of uh, a sweetener so that it tastes good. That's and these good. are this yeah, really good. these are bars for people with diabetes or actually anybody who wants to get a good option of something complex carbohydrate, easy to take with you. We went from bars. We have five flavors of bars to crisps and we have a variety of flavors of crisps so those are all based on a soy protein cool. with this complex carbohydrate and some flavoring and we actually also have shakes that are meal replacements thank you so much Great. for joining us thank we appreciate you. your insight if you have a question for us